Hello, my friends. Welcome back. I am back in my sewing room. Um, I just took a trip to go get some purple fabric. I just grabbed a quick little uh, fat quarter because we are making the, the boo door hanger. So it's a B, an O right below it, and then another O. And the purple will be the base color for the second O. And this is the one I'm really excited about. It is applique vinyl and it has glitter because we love glitter. And it's gonna be this little goblin guy in the, sec in the second O. So we'll get to that. Um, and then I have to share this because shiny things are very important. And I found this and I have no idea what I'm gonna do with it, but I'm going to make something many, many things out of it. I got two yards of whatever this stuff is. It's a uh, fabric and it's shiny and you can make raincoats and stuff out of it, but I'm probably going to make bags and um, I'll use it for some applique and I don't know how to sew raincoats, so I won't be making a raincoat, but there will be lots of fun things that I will make with that. And, um, that's about all I'm going to, um, I thought I'd show you the cover I made for my Solaris, um, real quickly before I jump into this. And I'm probably not going to video the whole, um, I don't know how to seam these videos together yet. So if I put a video on, it's a whole video. And, um, so I'm probably just going to upload a few of them. Um, I learned how to do a couple of things. I learned how to, um, I got an app, a couple apps to put like a thumbnail. And um, so I'm trying to figure out how to do this and add music and things like that. Uh, but the the technology portion of this is a little, it's gonna be a little slower for me, unless I had some little magic angel that came down and said, I'll do it for you, which isn't gonna happen. So um, that's okay. I like doing things and figuring them out. Um, but I'll show you my Solaris cover and then I'm gonna get the O, the second O um, set up in, I've got, I don't know if you guys use these dime hoops, but these magnetic dime hoops are absolutely fantastic. And I have yet to find something that I can't do in it. Uh, I've, I've been involved in a couple conversations on my Solaris Facebook page with a couple gals that have, um, a lot of people question whether or not you can do, you can quilt in it. And I've got the larger, I've got three sizes of the dime and I have had no problem quilting in mine whatsoever. The key to quilting with a dime hoop on, and I'm just gonna speak from, uh, from experience as far as the Solaris goes, is supporting your quilt. So if you don't have, um, if you don't have a table that's big enough to hold the back of the quilt, then you support it in the back and you support it in the front, making sure that it doesn't snag on anything because if it snags, your hoop is gonna keep going and your quilt is gonna get all out of shape and it'll quilt things that you don't want quilted. And then you have to rip it and all that and it's very frustrating. So the, the, the sitting with it and babysitting it while it, you make sure that it's motion, it's, it's full range of motion on, um, and then that's done with the embroidery, with the embroidery um, arm, unless you're free motion quilting. And that's a whole different, that's a whole different ball game. And that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about using the, uh, the quilting function on the Solaris and again, the dime hoop. Now the dime hoop that I'm using today is ready to go for a seven. And what it, what it, what this is stipulated as is a seven by 12 letter. There are in, um, again, this is a sweet pea design and I believe they're out of Australia and they come up with so many cute things. If you haven't been to their website, check them out. They're fantastic. Um, so many, so many cute things. And this is very simple to do. Um, it's, it's basically just an applique in the hoop and you, you do, um, uh, first thing we'll do is put, this is two layers of, um, it's a badge master OESD. And I absolutely love OESD, um, stabilizers. I used to use a different brand and now pretty much everything I do with stabilizers is OESD. And again, I get these at quality sewing in, uh, in this one is it they're all in washington state um but you can get oesd on amazon things like that they're just 
I have yet to have a, a stabilizer from OESD that I don't like. I like them all. Um, and each one has a different purpose. This I did two layers of the Badge Master and it's, it's, it holds, it, it can handle, you just kind of pull this up and get, I just tend to get rid of the wrinkles like that, just getting them out of the way. Um, this has these, these, this Badge Master can handle some pretty heavy stitching. So I do two layers of the Badge Master. And then the first thing you do is you place batting down. The batting does a, over the batting, they'll do a stitch. So the stitch, will, it'll do an outline of the O, trim the batting, and then go from there. And um, I'll explain that kind of as we go. But right now, I'll just show you this. I was going to take this off the machine, but I figured I'd show it to you first since I haven't shown the cover. And the cover design, it's on Etsy. And um, if you go on to Etsy and you just put in machine, sewing machine covers, this gal that um, I got this cover from, the pattern for this cover, she does pretty much every machine under the sun. And if she doesn't do it, she asks if you can send her the name of it and she'll do, I think she does the research on it and gets the specs on it and she'll produce it. She's fantastic. And the, the pattern is very simple to follow. I don't do a whole lot of, I don't, I don't make clothing. So when you do something that requires, I don't know what you call it, but just kind of a 3D shape, it's, it's something I'm not super familiar with. So this is, this is the machine cover. And then this portion right here is the embroidery arm. So you just pop that off and there's the beautiful, beautiful, lovely, beautiful Solaris that we all love. And if you don't have one, you need one. So you have to go get one fast, very fast because they are lovely and you'll love them every day. Yes, her name is Grace, if I didn't say that before. She's very graceful, unlike me. Okay, so um, that is that. And um, I am going to, like I said, I'm going to start, put this over here, on, um, they usually do is just take, Take the frame and apply, got the batting, kind of just put that there. And then I'm going to tape with this stuff. Where is it? This is tape that I got for embroidery. It's for, um, it is for applique mostly. And I will give you the name of that actually, so that you can actually see what it is. I bought a bunch of them at once. It is this OESD tear away tape, not too hard. And it's expert embroidery tape. This, I think I want to say I got that on, on, um, Amazon also pretty sure. And then some other gal, she had this brilliant idea of putting it in a tape holder. So, I had to get the plastic because I love plastic and then put stuff in it because if you don't have stuff, what fun is it? Stuff with color and shiny plastic stuff. Hence, shiny plastic, right? Shiny plastic stuff. All right. So I'm going to start this and then I'll probably add another video in a little bit. I hope you are smiling and you're happy and I hope you smile and make somebody else happy today. So be kind and I will be back when I make either the first O or the second O and then um, we will go from there. Okay, be back. <laughs>